Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh Gorantra and today we are going to discuss about mobile automation testing by using Python. Hi friends, welcome back with a new session and today we are going to discuss about how to do uh, add for new contact in that. Okay, in a emulator I'm going to show you. Okay, basically here I'm going to show like this, uh, like I'm going to click here. You need to click contacts and I'll open this in automation side. Okay, and then and clicking for this particular one and I'm providing for username and password mobile and then we can able to click save button. Okay, this is the operation and here I'm going to show you like a normal way, but uh, in this alerts uh, scroll up and all there are so many things will be there those all the things i'm going to uh, hiding now and next time i will go uh, i will show you okay what exactly right if you are open newly it will ask you for uh, sign in or uh, skip and then you're going to allow then you need to cl uh, click for this button and i need to do it this all the things we'll see for later edition because this is our advanced concepts because i'm going to cover that uh, alerts uh, those all the concepts and that moment i'll show you Okay, now here I'm going to copy this one and I'm pasting here. And then we need to get that uh, app activity. Okay, app package and app activity. And for this, we need to run for an admin in a command prompt to get the app activity and all. Okay. And here I can able to ADB devices. Okay, then ADB shell. And then we need to use for command with the dump sys and window windows grep hyphen E and the single quotation and EM top activity component this all the things i showed in my previous videos please go through that this is a messenger okay it is showing messenger only why messenger it is showing okay my app is opened okay This is my contact uh, app activity and uh, app package. Okay. This is my app activity. Okay, then. I'm going to use for driver dot some implicitly weight. Okay, I'm using for 50. Okay, then I'm going to use for to connect. I need to connect for <clears throat> the uh, I need to click this particular uh, plus symbol. Okay, now this is my plus symbol. This is my accessibility ID, and I'm going to here and driver dot find element. By app dot accessibility ID a comma value. And then I'm going to provide my accessibility ID and uh, click. Once I click, it will uh, open for this window. And here we can able to refresh. <clears throat> Take this particular uh, 
ID first name and last name. Okay, first name and last name and phone number. Okay, for this I created one expert. All right, no. This is my class name. We can use the class name here. And the text I'm going to use for our first name. Okay, this is my expert. I'm going to take my expert here. And I'm going to use for driver dot find element by appm dot xpath then value dot send keys and I'm going to provide for my location okay and then I'm going to use it for direct phone number okay I'll take for my expert everything same only we need to change for phone number I'll copy now okay I'm coming to here I'm mentioning for driver dot find element by appm dot expert value dot send case and I'm providing for my value okay then I am going to use it for save button shit save button for the save button also text is same but this is a button Previous it is a text, now it is button, and then text become a save. Okay, I'm copying now again this one. Driver dot find element by appm <coughs> export and value. And then I'm going to use for click operation. Okay. Now this is my operation. Whether we can able to do it or not, we'll see. Now I'm running now. Now this is an empty screen now. It will open for activity. Now you can see this is a symbol again. It is clicked for contacts and you can able to see first name, last name and mobile number. It is there here. Okay, like this. And even we can able to verify after creating this text, whether it is uh, presented or not after creator and mobile number, whether it is there or not, we can able to use for by using for expected value or not. Okay, this all the things we can able to learn into our next video sessions. Okay. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues and don't forget to comment on this video. Thank you.